Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at something really quite interesting and also fairly well requested, which is basic logic gates in Minecraft. Now, for those of you who don't know, Redstone is based on Boolean logic. Now, I'm not going to do much explanation on this myself because there are tons of websites out there that will do a much better job of it. And if you do want to check them out, I'll put a few down in the description, but also Google is probably a pretty good place to go. But there are a few operators that you need to know about. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the basic ones, which are AND, OR, and NOT. Now, before we begin, I just want to explain that I'm not going to be showcasing any groundbreaking designs in today's video. This is all about the explanation process. On top of that, I just want to say that blue is going to be input 1, orange is input 2, and red is always going to be the output. So the first gate that we're going to be taking a look at today is the AND gate. As you can see, we have got ourselves an output, and that is because input 1 and input 2 are both active going into the AND gate, and the AND gate has detected this and given us an output. If we turn one of these off, you will see the output turns off. If we turn both of them off, the output will stay off. It will only activate when both of these are on. AND gates aren't limited to only two inputs. This is just a very basic demonstration. You could have hundreds upon hundreds of inputs running straight into this AND gate, and it would only give an output if all of those inputs were on. Now this makes it very useful in redstone contraptions, for example, combination locks. All of the combinations need to be correct for it to give an output. Without this very basic logic that you can see in front of us, that whole system wouldn't work. Moving on, we are now going to be taking a look at one of the simplest logic gates, and that is the NOT gate. If we take a look at this from a logic standpoint, if your input is on, then the output is off. If your input is off, then your output is on. It's all very simple, and obviously from a Minecraft redstone building perspective, it is also very easy to achieve, but it is absolutely essential. If we didn't have this little setup, then none of the things that we currently build would be possible, and it will all be a massive struggle. So this little thing, extremely powerful. You should learn it. If we combine our NOT gate with our original AND gate, we end up with a NAND gate. Now this will NOT give an output if input 1 is on and input 2 is on. Just something fairly interesting that I thought you would want to know about. Another logic-based system that uses NOT gates is the RS NOR latch. Now I'm not going to explain this too much in today's video, but if you would like an explained video on latches and T flip-flops, please let me know down in the comment section and I'll get straight on with it. Finally, onto the last logic gate of today's video, and that is the OR gate. Now this is quite simple as well, if input 1 or input 2 are on, then the output is also going to be on. So if we turn on input 1, you can see that the output turns on. If we turn on input 2 as well, the output will stay on. If we turn off input 1, then the output will stay on. The only time in which the output will turn on is if both input 1 and input 2 are off. Just like with the ABBA gates, the OR gate is not limited to only two inputs. You could have hundreds of inputs, and you will get an output if one of them is turned on. Also, this can be combined with the NOT gate to give you a NOR gate. Now, this will NOT give an output if input 1 or input 2 is on, as you can quite clearly see here. So that rounds up today's brief episode on logic gates. I hope that you have found it somewhat informative. Once again, if you do want to learn a little bit more about Boolean logic, there will be links down in the description. Also, there will be some cool designs for all of these gates featured down there, so the description is definitely a place that I would suggest checking out. Once again, if you do want to see a video on T flip-flops and latches, then let me know down in the comment section. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.